I'm coming to take your guns. By force, if necessary. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> I really didn't want to cuss, but I thought it was necessary. It's absolutely necessary. It's necessary under that circumstance. Yeah, so maybe yeah, yeah. we'll get a pass for the... the Probably room. not, I but... I doubt it. I doubt who cares? It. Exactly. Like, gotta have a format. Can't cuss at No, this we point. don't. No, we don't. Gotta, we can do what the fuck we want. Not, I, I, we're not a fucking radio station. Like, it's not, it's not fucking JRQO fucking blah, blah, blue. We're, we're, we're goddamn podcasting. We don't know what we're fucking doing. That's right. We're winging this shit. Yeah. Daily. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mostly Peaceful TV. I'm uh, Rob. I'm Jimmy. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about some uh, really disturbing shit today. Hey, before that. Okay. Talk about the Blantons. I want, I want to know about the Blantons a little bit more. Yeah, well, I was getting there. Like, oh, okay. You, you don't. You don't let me do my thing. You just, you just barrel over me, wing it. It's because you break the format. Okay, <laughs> that's you, true. You're breaking the format. I am, right I am breaking now. the format. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 tight, it's a tight schedule around here. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We, we 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 know exactly what we're doing at all times. Right. Hopefully, we're recording right, right now. <laughs> it's going to be fun to find out we're not. <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, so we're going to have some, uh, Blantons today. We're going to, I got a, a very special, uh, bottle from a friend of mine through a series of is it who missteps. I, is it who I think it is? Uh, from our buddy, Greg. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, of course. I was gonna say shout out. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah for I sure. was getting there. I don't know anybody. See, else this is you fucking... barreling over me again. Yeah, breaking the breaking the format. That's what we fucking do. We just I <laughs> I talk over you, talk over me. Yeah. You say something about guns, and then I start talking. Now, if we about, stare at the camera, we can uh, just break the fourth wall, right? You ready? Fuck. So you talk about like <laughs> whiskey, and I'm like, oh, yeah. smoking ribs and whatever. Of course, of course. So um, through a series of I mean, really, really like <clears throat> fortunate missteps on, uh, for, for Greg, you know, okay. but on, on the side of the, uh, company delivering said, uh, delicious bottle of Blanton's, uh, he acquired two bottles for the price of one mm. because they, they screwed up royally. So they screwed up his order. Yeah, really. Yeah, and it, it afforded him a free bottle of uh, incredibly rare Blantons that, that we're going to sit here and try today, and uh, have a have a nice. So he got smoking a, and, he, a, and a drink. Sorry, he got two of these. He got two of these. Yes, and he gave you that one. He gave me one. Yes. Why? Um. I, I haven't been able to discern whether it is that he actually likes me or yeah, he just wants to touch my penis. I don't know if I like you that much, bro. <laughs> I would have been like, "Yeah, I got, I got this one bottle of Blantons we could have, we could try." You know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's originally what I thought was going to happen, and he's like, "No, that's your bottle." I was like, "I'm not gonna suck it, dude." <laughs> no, exactly. Like, what do you want? <laughs> like, I'm, I, like, we can hang out, but his his stipulation was that we sat down and opened the bottle and did side by side comparison with mm -hmm. the the original Blandons and this one which I'm actually going to get into and tell you exactly what it is it's uh it is only I say only until the until the dawn of being able to order liquor over the internet mm -hmm. which I I will thank um our so. I, you, you okay over there mm -hmm. You got some issues? It's Nevada coming in to take your guns. So, this bottle is, and let me do this again, so that, so that I don't mispronounce it. It's a, uh, you, it was only originally 
uh, distributed in Japan. Got it. Uh, and you can see, like at the bot at the bottom of the uh, the label here, it's it's written in Japanese. Yes, I see that. There's That's uh, fucking dope. Dude. There's a good bit of Japanese writing on the back side of the the, yeah. the label as well. Um, that's insane. That's yeah. cool shit, dude. So, like, that's the shit. Uh, it is. That's the shit you keep. Like, don't get rid of the bottle. And by all means, oh no, yeah, no, 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 no. He, I think he wants the 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 topper. Which, cool. yeah, have at it, bro. No, uh, fuck that. You need well <laughs> trade with the, like a regular topper, so it's still it's so it looks. So I still have a complete yeah. bottle. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Um. Wanted to be open. This is, uh, and I could be it's wrong. I'm, I'm, beautiful. I'm, I'm hoping that this is correct. <clears throat> By everything that I've looked up, it is. <clears throat> this is the uh, Blanton's Red Takara Japanese Edition. Right. So, uh, before I light this, I'm gonna pour us a glass. Mm. I'm gonna light my cigar, and then we're gonna taste it. Blanton's Red Takara Japanese Edition. Yeah, what do you think about that? I think it's fucking awesome. That's pretty cool, man. It is. And I'll tell you, I know a little bit, a very little bit about <clears throat> Japanese Americana. Mm -hmm. They're really into... There's a there's a big culture of... Your punch. Uh, Japanese Americana where they have gotten into... They're they're really into whiskeys. They're really into. I've noticed. They're really into uh, selvage denim, old like uh, Red Wings, old Levi type stuff. The shit the, you got into there. Yeah, the work. That's how I know about it. You know what I mean? Because when I started looking up, like, okay, what Buying pair of denim pants, by weight? Yeah, what pair of pants do I buy that I don't have to rebuy in six months? It took me down totally a rabbit hole in in. Sure. Uh, I learned about Japanese denim where they still make denim the old, the old school way. Yeah, yeah. Like the old American way. So yeah. the way that we started making denim, whenever we crossed over into the 21st century of making denim, I guess with different types of looms and they used to make everything on these old hand sh uh, shuttle looms, these old wooden looms and stuff. And it was just a better process, right? It was slower though. Well, whenever these American companies like Levi adopted the new way of uh, weaving denim, they had to sell off all these big giant looms and a bunch of companies in Japan bought them up and they still produce American sounds, old school denim. Like That sounds like we really shit on a tried and true way to mm -hmm. o o cost over... Well, over quality. That's right? what it was. It was 100% cost over quality because it costs a lot less, right? Because you do it so much faster. These uh well they're made oh, lighter too. What are they too. called? Yeah, they are. They're they they're called something. It's a different type of loom. It's not a shuttle loom. It's whatever. Anyways, it's super fast, but it doesn't it doesn't create the quality of denim. Yeah, that, that heavy, yeah. it's going to last you 10 years, pair, the seams, pair of jeans. Yeah. The way the seams form on a shuttle loom is mm -hmm. completely different than on the, this new loom they use. And it's basically what they use still to this day. And in Japan, there's a few people that hand dye with like plants, like plant dye and shit. Like they're, they're dying denim. But dude, you're talking $500 for a pair of jeans type shit. And it's, oh, yeah. You know, I get it. I get it. I totally get where they're coming from because you you got people who will pay five hundred dollars for some Gucci jeans and that ain't shit. But it'll last you six months if you're if you're lucky. Yeah, they're yeah. not. You're not paying for the quality of product. You're paying for the name for on the them. name. Yeah. yeah, where these Whereas guys you're paying for quality. Yes, quality you're, product. you're paying for the quality. A, a properly there. built product. But through that, I learned that there's big American culture in Japan, and they like them some whiskey and cigars and some red I wings. Did that. Yeah, dude, I did it's that. cool. It's cool. I, I think I, I, think I that, like that they appreciate that, America. That cross that, that that cross intersection of culture mm -hmm. is is a pretty cool thing. Like it is. You know, I, they, I, 
I dig I dig a lot of what they do. Uh, they even have a huge lowrider culture in Japan, dude. Oh, like no kidding. Mexican, California lowrider, LA style shit. Like like old six fours. Yep. Not even just dude. White wife beaters, khakis, Chuck Taylors, Ray Bans, tatted up. No shit. They look With that real like, tight. That real tight hair haircut. They look yeah. like straight cholos. <laughs> and then you look at their eyes and you're like, wait. I'm telling you. You need a little further. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're not from around here, are you? Dude, they, <laughs> d- it's cool to see how much they appreciate the American culture, though, because even that. even that, that uh, lowrider style, that's it, it's an American. The, yeah, it's, it's a Mexican-American. It, it's born yeah, in it's, L.A. That's South, that's South California yep. culture, man. Like, Yeah, exactly. We, we, we grew up yeah. watching that stuff. Like, yeah. It, yeah, it that was 80s, culture, 90s so. type yeah. shit. Mainstream. Yeah. It started fucking, I think, in the 70s, Let's, man. Let's yeah, go ahead yeah. and give this a shot, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Greg. Cheers. Thanks, Greg. Smooth. That's a thing of beauty. Man. Spicy. It is. It's spicy on the back end. It's not as spicy as you would you know think that it's gonna be by the flavor. Right. Uh, you know what's funny though? The spice on this not it's less it's like it's not like a super pepper spice. It's like a cinnamon spice. Like a like <clears throat> it's really sweet. It's sweet. So there's a cherry, that. there, there's a big cherry note at mm-hmm. the at the front end of that. Right. Like huge, huge cherry in the front. And I, I like big that. Time. I think yeah. I think it's I think it's very Oh, big time. Very dude. prominent and very um That's why I don't get pepper. The complimentary the to the spice. Yeah. yeah. The spice is, is a it's a different like some some whiskeys I get like a pepper spicy, like a like a like a this fresh is, ground yeah, yeah this black is, pepper. Yeah. It's more like a candy spicy, like, yeah, like a, a cinnamon, fireball. Yeah, like a fireball. Yeah, I get you. that type of yeah, yeah. it's super palatable though. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's, yeah, it's really good. Really good. This oh, is man. It's got to be one of my favorites. Uh, I think this far outweighs uh, even oh, even the the regular single barrel. It's super uh, oily. It is right. It is. It's got you that. You can see the legs feel. on the glass. It's yeah. got that mouth feel that just like coats. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Swish it around the glass. You can see the legs just. Yeah, yeah. The oil just kind of just oh, yeah. slides down. It's gorgeous. Worth its weight in gold, bro. Yeah, I, I, it retails. I, I think I think it retails at about like two hundred, mm-hmm. two hundred and thirty dollars a bottle, something like that. Not too bad for what it is. The thing is, is it's probably damn near impossible to ever get. You know, I, okay, so that that's the whole thing. Uh, with the advent of the the internet allowing you to uh, purchase and have alcohol mm-hmm. delivered to your home. Yeah, has really opened up the market mm-hmm. for what you used to could not get, but now can get. Yeah, right. So yeah, for sure that 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 rare ass bottle that only gets distributed in Japan, I can now order via an online service and have it delivered yeah. to my house. Right. So I get to, I get to have that little bit of something that I would have never actually had without going to mm-hmm. said area. Right. Right. I think that's I think that's beautiful oh, to dude. to an extent and yet damning because it doesn't it almost takes that that special little mm-hmm. that that thing from it right to a degree yeah uh, but like there's a there's a green label uh bottle I think that's only distributed in Japan as well okay you can order that online really I can order that right now online uh Oh, are you telling me to order it yeah. right now online? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, fun story. I actually just went and bought my kids new beds today. Oh. So, yeah. I haven't even bought myself a nah, new listen, bed, man. We, we actually kind of lucked out. We, we, we kind of lucked out. We haven't bought a new bed yet either. Uh-uh. Fucking 10 years in, we're due for it. Mm-hmm. My back says we're due for it. Mm-hmm. My wife. My wife says and her back due. says we're due yeah. for it, too. Yeah. yeah. yeah she, fuck. It's, it's horrible. So we we talked to the kids a while back and they wanted more room in their room. Yeah. Okay. How do you how do you propose we do this, boys? Bunk beds. 
Well, that was that was one of the first options. They used to have bunk beds. Yeah. Well, then they didn't want bunk, bunk beds anymore. So gotcha. we took the beds apart and made Seven, single yeah. twin size beds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then it ate up all the space. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it ate up a shit ton of space. Like these yeah. boys had no room in their room because mm. we would, our house is not big. It's, I mean, our house is not big. It's probably about your, your, your size. It's the same size. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same size. Uh, we have three bedrooms in the house, but right. you know, it's, it's a single wide trailer. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the bedrooms aren't gigantic. Right. Um, they came to the, to, to the, to the agreement that they wanted futons. Mm. Mm-hmm. So the wife and I, we shopped around, we shopped around, we shopped around. We've, we've been doing this for probably four months, really. That's pretty cool. I had a futon for a while growing up. When I was younger, when I lived at my mom and dad still. And I'm okay with it, dude. They're, they're two little gamers. All yeah. they do is play games. Yeah. They fall asleep on the bed when, when it's time. Right. You know, outside of that, they're, they're sitting up, they're playing video games. I'd rather have them something, yep. have something in their room that they're more comfortable with. Multi-use. Right? And they share a room. Right. My two boys share a room. So. Yeah, yeah. But we, uh, we shopped and we shopped and we were, we were of the, uh, the consensus this was going to be. You know, three four hundred dollar uh, venture for two beds. You know, uh, we found <laughs> it's fucking great too, because I love Lowe's. Yeah. I love Lowe's. You, you, I've told you how many times I love. Lowe's. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, we found two futons in Lowe's. Okay. And originally, when we first saw them, I was like, "Hey, look at those! They're right there. We get them." Yeah. She's like, oh, "Let's hold off." They were $179 a piece. Okay. I was like, okay, that's reasonable. Yeah. For for what you're getting. And yeah. they're really comfortable. Don't get me wrong. Right. They're really firm. Like, yeah. I love a good firm bed, you know? Yeah. And and these these couches are firm. Okay. Uh we were, we went up there today. Uh we had to go to tractor supply, get some chicken, chicken feed, chicken scratch, some oyster shells, shit like that. Um and I was like, hey, let's let's go over to Lowe's. Uh I need to need to get an idea of what I'm going to put down on some uh, four by fours so that I can build a new chicken coop, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. <laughs> and <clears throat> raise the chicken run that I have now. Right. So that my ass can walk in it. Yeah, my yeah. short ass wife can walk in it comfortably. Me, I get in there and I'm like, this is, I know, you know, yeah. head to the side. Can't walk that well. It, it, it avoids... I avoid going in there and she gets mad yeah. at me for it. Like, right. she's like, you're not helping me with them. I was like, no, I'm not because I can't fit. I don't fit. <laughs> it's bad enough. I got to walk through the door sideways. Right. <laughs> uh, no, I guess. <laughs> so, so, but so, so we, we, we go, we go to Lowe's and like, we, we, lo and behold, I never even fucking priced out the four by fours. Okay. But we're walking around and I, I happen to look down and just, whoops. Damn it. You got to do that. Damn you. Damn, I tried this so hard. You I, fucked it too. up last week. I you fucking know we, we fucked it up we last week. We fucked up last yeah, week. We hard. fucked up. You fucked up worse than me. I did. It's just I fucked up after you and I should have known better because yeah. I got to edit this. Yeah, shit. I know. I know. It's difficult. So, what time? Hold on. Let me see. No, it doesn't fucking tell 1852. Me. Okay. You can go back from there. <laughs> Write that down. Now you know how hard it was to fucking find? You can't scrub through it. You just got to watch it. Yeah. So um, she she took off with, uh, the wife took off with the, the daughter to go change her. And uh, I'm walking through. Uh, I got my I got my brew mate cup with my, my big old glass of tea. Just kind of meandering around Lowe's because it's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Uh, and I there, there are those futons. And I was like, What's up, futons? I'm going to buy you. Look down, and they're on clearance for $89 a piece. That's like half. That's of, like half. Well, yeah. That's more than half. Yeah. I think. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were, you yeah. said 179 They were 179 originally. Yeah. So they were $180. Uh, eight, yeah. Right? Yeah. 180 Yeah. And now they're like, I bought one, get one free. Now they're 90 Yeah, they're 89 Yeah. It's yeah. half. Half price. Yeah, half price. Fuck yeah. I got buy one, get one free. Yeah. Right? Two for one. <laughs> I walked out the door two hundred dollars in, and I've got two brand new futons, and the kids are ecstatic about it. Dope, you know. Yep. So 
that was uh, that was our, our 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 trip. I don't remember what the point to that was. I just felt like I had to share that with everybody. Where, where were we going with that? I don't remember. I've had two sips of Blantons and I'm going. I don't yeah, know what the fuck I, we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, this is definitely on format for us. Oh, for sure. This is this our format. Is the format? Yeah, it's just completely fucking so I, so formatted. I, damn. What? I, you know what? I really don't know where wh- why. <laughs> I don't know how or when either, but I yeah, do I just know. I mentioned that we bought oh we bought bought new beds for the kids and like there was something going on there that we were yeah there was like we a it was it was supposed to catapult us yeah into, there was a story arc but yes. it's it's gone it's, you know so I do remember you saying that you wanted to tell me about Nevada <laughs> because I haven't heard about Nevada you asked me if I heard I said no. You said, okay, I'm going to tell you. And I said, wait, don't tell me yet. Wait until so, we do the show. Tell me then. I want to have an authentic reaction to what you're going to tell me because I got a feeling whenever you come to me and you say stuff like that, hey, have you heard about what's going on in whatever state? That it's going to be spicy. Yeah. Yeah. So, this, this is this is the one too. Uh, but I can't imagine like what Nevada. But then again, so and and I'm 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 gonna have to dig for 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 the article okay. because they buried it now. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was reading, and Nevada, uh, Nevada's governor, uh, decided to. By executive order, decree, whatever. We, we're not making laws anymore. We're just, we're saying words and going, you can't do it no more. Yeah. Said that in, uh, and it was very specific, but it was still, uh, it's definitely unconstitutional. So he banned guns. He banned the open. So Nevada is an open carry state. Wait, one. wait. Nevada is an open carry state. Okay. First of all. Gotcha. Second of all. Are they they're open carry and concealed or I mean uh open carry and constitutional carry? Yes. So okay. you can open carry no. or you can conceal carry without a permit. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh these uh this this governor decided that and and this is the way he were uh, he or she I think it's a she. I think it's a she. Worded worded it was that this is a uh public health crisis. Uh uh-huh. And that cities with uh, X number of uh, gun crimes per capita. Joe Lombardo? Wait a minute. No, you said Nevada. Oh, no. New, ba- New Mexico. Fuck, I fucked that whole thing up. I'm pretty sure it's New Mexico. I'm sorry. Jesus, why did I say Nevada? That'd be stupid. See? Format. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. New Mexico. It was New Mexico. Luan Grisham? Grissom? I think that's... Is I, the H silent? It's a chick. She's a little bit older. Gray hair. Uh, Let's see. It's definitely... There it is. It's New Mexico. Yep. Yep. No, this is right. it. Right. So... Suspend open and cons- okay. Yeah. So as soon as I type in New Mexico, all that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, is- yeah. So she is spend- suspending open and concealed carry in cities that have X amount of gun, uh, gun violence crimes per capita, blah 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 blah, blah, blah. which ultimately boiled down to I think it was Albuquerque. She looks like the- just her motherfucking goddamn haircut <laughs> looks like motherfucking. Stop waving your phone. I can't see your face. God. Look at her fucking hair. Oh, dear God. She wants to see a manager. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. look, look at that. Yeah. The no, red suit. She yeah, definitely she, wants to see a manager. Definitely. Uh, so, fuck. I'll never vote for a motherfucker with a haircut looking like that, man. Never. People were going to vote for Hil- Hillary Clinton. You got that John and Kate fucking haircut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. John and Kate plus eight. Bro, you see that you see that 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 clip of her telling him not to breathe? No. Bro, <laughs> I felt so bad for that dude. 
Pirates. I never watched the show. I don't know what it was I've about. Seen Didn't it. care. I remember it. I remember, man. That they was were reality. Doing, they were doing like this counseling thing, and now like it's an internet. Like it's a meme now. Don't breathe. She was like, she she's talking. Yada, yeah, yada, yada, yada. He's just sitting there, right? Yeah. And she just oh. looks, stops cold in her tracks, looks at him and goes, Can you not breathe so loud? And then she just she looked at the person they were talking to. I don't know if it was a counselor or if it was an interview. And she's like, he's just over there. <laughs> I was like, you bitch. Bro, I'm telling you, she is the original Karen. They should have named it Kate. My guy was just sitting there, dude. I it felt just doesn't so have that ring now. Him. It doesn't yeah. have that ring. It has to be Karen. Yeah. It, it really does. Yeah. But. No, it's the, it, dude. It's the haircut. So it's let's, the fucking haircut. Yeah. So this is, I, I'm I'm really I'm really curious to see what. Uh, obviously, we know this is unconstitutional, right? She, but, she has overstepped her her gubernatorial gubernatorial whatever <laughs> fucking powers. She she does not have the power to overstep the constitution. Not only we have seen, not only the 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 fed like our the united states constitution yeah. but nevada's own no, constitution no new mexico or new mexico new mexico's constitution yeah, yeah yeah for sure like florida's constitution and can't overstep no, that that's law no, no. dude but dude they do it they fucking <sighs> do it like i'm sure i don't know what it is and don't fucking care what chicago's constitution is but i'm sure they have one you know the illinois Okay. Illinois. I was gonna say, are you counting you counting Chicago as the entire state of Illinois? No, but like the <laughs> shit that they do there, the mayors, the governors, like at what point, dude? It's like the only city Chicago that matters in Illinois. Well, yeah, I was gonna say Chicago might as well be the fucking state, yeah. but no, Illinois. Every state has their constitution they as do. we have the federal. Yep. They don't fucking care. I don't even know if they know. Like, here's the thing. You know Hell, when a cop when a cop pulls you over and he's like, you're not allowed to record me. It's illegal. I don't know if you actually think that's true or you're just a piece of shit cop. He's a piece of shit cop. Or do you not know? Because it's oh, not listen. like a cop is a lawyer. They, I can they guarantee do you not. half of them don't even know the actual laws. Right. That's I guarantee it. For sure. They just guarantee. roll up on you and they're like, I don't you can't think do you, that. I'm a cop. Yeah, you can't record me. I'm a cop. Uh, That's no, really, it's, it's you actually, should go back and read your laws. It's actually a law. So I wonder like how many of these motherfuckers are just like, we're going to ban guns. Cause that's what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. We're here to rule over you. Like, no, read a fucking book or something because I'm pretty sure that all of these rules, these yeah. constant, like the constitution, it's not rules for me. It's rules for them. Yeah. This is what you can't to, do. Yeah, exactly. This is it what was you to limit government. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like, hey, we're gonna put in a rule that says you have to do. No, 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 no. This is a body of rules and regulations for you, bro. To limit not government me. reach. Yes. Yes. That's the thing. The founding fathers were not. They did not miss. No. When when they wrote the Bill of Rights, when they wrote Dude, the they, Constitution. They didn't they fucking didn't miss. create America and go, okay, now what are the rules for the people? No, they created with the intention of, okay, new country, new government. We need a what governing are the body, rules but for they the need government? to be restricted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yes. are the rules for the government? What can, like, hard stop, hard stop, what can they not ever do? Yeah. Right here. Let's write it down. Yep. Because that's what I'd fucking do. Me and you shall not be infringed. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with the First Amendment. Right. It's written clearly that that's not an option. Like you get free speech. Right. You get to say what you want to say. Albeit, you can say stupid shit. By all means, say stupid shit. They're somebody trying. has uh, somebody, uh, the other, another person also has the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the right and the capability to call you out and tell you that yeah. your shit is stupid mm -hmm. when you say stupid shit. Well, that's the scary part, man, is the government will always use. Right? So, like, they'll convince you, uh, we're going to go down that rabbit hole, but the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Yeah, sure. How about hate speech? It's legal. Doesn't exist, right? I, it's there's not no, there's really thing. no such thing there as is hate no, speech. There is no such thing. There's your freedom of speech, my freedom of speech, and all speech encapsulated. Yeah, the, the in only this thing, thing that, right? that hate speech even denotes is that you didn't like what I said. Right. But Therefore, what happens is, and that's not the that's not the case. We can we can kind of like 
convince people. Sure. Right? Hate speech. We'll create but, that word. We'll but let's create- also be real that there were curtails to your speech because the idea of Very the little. idea of, of 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 especially when it comes to the internet nowadays, like the idea of being able to go on the internet and go, hey, you go blow up a building. Go yeah. kill this person. That right there, no, well, you that's not speech. No. Now you're inciting. Yeah. That's a, I mean But that falls under other stuff. Yes. Like if I say, hey, I don't like your fucking haircut. Yes, but people, well, fuck you. I don't care. Exactly. But people will, people will assimilate. And not, that's not the right word. People will take saying things like that. Yeah. Go blow up a building. Go, 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 go shoot up a school. Go, go kill that person. I did Columbine because of Eminem's album. They'll, <laughs> they'll take that and say, that's free speech. Yeah, yeah. I can say that to somebody. No, you can't say that to some, no. somebody because if that somebody goes and does that, yeah. now you're an accomplice because you told them to go do it. But, yeah, but that's different. It is different. But what I'm, different. My, my, my point to this is, is but, that they okay. will conflate the two. Right. They will say they're the same thing. No, they're not. No, they're you not. You have the right to say whatever the fuck it is you want to say. Yeah. But also like, remember I, that there I, are consequences I, to what you say. Okay, if I tell you, hey... Go blow up AP City Hall. Right? Do they have one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. That would be like what you're... Sure. Now, if exactly. I said, yeah. man, I can't stand the fucking City Hall here. Yeah. It, 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 Fuck me, them. Me going online they and going, all hey, suck. everybody meet up at, at, at City Hall and let's bum rush the doors. Right. Inciting a riot, violence, yep. whatever. Yeah, right. you done fucked up. That's not yeah. free speech. Right. That that has nothing to do with the First Amendment or the Constitution at all. But if you go online and you're like, man, I can't stand these motherfuckers down at City Hall. Yeah, I hate the government. That's free speech. Right. Because uh, you're not telling... Uh, Nancy Pelosi's a fat cunt. But here's here's the problem with the government. That's free speech. Here's the problem with the government and the Constitution. Definitely having an FBI they, agent stop by tonight after that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I, I guarantee that AI yeah. is going to listen to this oh, and yeah. pick up like, those how things. How dare you say that about Nancy Pelosi? It's like, blow up City Hall, Nancy Pelosi, all oh, these oh, things. Gonna ch- yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, fucked. We're, we're fucked. fucked. We're fucked. Well, Nevada, okay. Nevada State Troopers will be showing up. I mean, <laughs> exactly. New Mexico. No, Nevada. Nevada. Nevada's <laughs> fucked, dude. They're gonna, Nevada's going to be like, man, what the fuck, man? What did we do? <laughs> Why y'all what attacking me? What did we do, man? <laughs> I looked them up. They're Republican. They got a Republican governor and Hell shit. Hell yeah, because they're, they're gambling uh, cities. <laughs> exactly. Shit. Exactly. Shit. Las Vegas. I forgot. I, I, I don't but know look, how I how I fucked that up, dude. Tell me that the, the blue government, right? They... They are the ones who push this whole hate speech thing. Mm-hmm. They're hate speech, hate speech. That's hate speech, yeah. hate speech, hate speech. They want you to believe hate speech is a real thing because so once they, they convince change. you, yes. they say, hey, man, listen, the N word, this word, that word, it's hate speech, right? And most people, they're like, well, I mean, it's they they conflate the the two things, bad and hate. Even when you go that far, dude, right? not, not hate speech. Right. No, I know. But I don't think you should say it. Look, let me let me explain though. No, we agree. Yeah. These things are bad said in that way, okay? Yeah. But if you tell a kid that's hate speech, they conflate the two things and hate speech becomes real. Even yeah, but you though know what the weird not. thing is? And then I've heard, bro, I've heard people on interviews, and this is what the scary part is. Yeah, people th- like this is the Il- Ilan Omar being they say, completely anti Semitic. They say, but that's okay. Do you think hate speech should be illegal? Yes, definitely. Okay, what should be the repercussion of hate speech? Well, if you say something, and let's say there's a cop there, but you know what happens the moment you do be that. able. I'm, that's where I'm going. It no longer it no longer focuses on hate speech, right? Because we've made that word up. Exactly, it, it starts focusing on yes, you the are, others exactly. Exactly. It focuses on dude, the people who don't dude. think the same way the uh, the consensus thinks. If, if you don't fall in line and you don't uh, shout the party the party's uh, views, yeah, you're 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 ostracized. You're you're, when, you're a bad person. You're when you get rid of hate speech. Yeah. When you outlaw. Uh, uh, 
Yeah. When you outlaw hate speech, yeah. you become China. Because hey, not, it'll not go, even that. Like, it'll it, go. It'll go. You can't say this word against those people. Sure. And those those that's people. An actual, those people go. Yay! We got yeah. what we wanted. And then a few years go by, and they go. Yeah. By the way, we've included these phrases and words also it's, under. It's ever changing, and it's yes. going to be. You can't say shit about the government. Nope. You say something about Joe Biden. Nope. You can't say this online. Nope. You you get fucking black bagged yep. and gulagged. Yep. Yeah, dude. Fuck. Yep. Th- that's exactly how that happens. You either have wholehearted, 100% freedom of speech. Or All day, every day. None. Or none. I, and I, I prefer mean, the latter. I, and I mean minus the things like, hey, go do this. Hey, you know what I mean? Like, do this thing, or we should do yeah, this the funny thing. thing is, or, you know what would be cool? People always if give you, you did this thing. Like people those- always give you the the uh, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Yeah, but yes, the you, you actually can. fucking can. Yeah, that's not against the law. I will say, if it causes harm to people, I'm pretty sure there are consequences for it. Yeah, and it's like I said, you can say. Whatever the fuck you want, right. whenever the fuck you want, that is your God given right. That is your constitutionally God given right, dude. It's these these the- these rights weren't given to us mm-hmm. by our by the founding fathers. Mm-mm. They were already there by God for us. They just enshrined them on a giant piece of paper saying, to protect "You can't them. take yes. this from us." Yes, that's yes. that's you. The, the government point. cannot take this from us. Now, right. there are consequences to what you say. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah, yeah. You can for say sure. whatever the fuck you want, but 100%. there are always consequences. Yeah. Via good, be be it good or bad. Yeah. There, there's either a reward, a reward or a consequence to whatever you say. Yeah. You can say some really good shit. Perfect. You're getting rewarded. Yeah. You could say some really bad shit or not, and you might not fucking have followers on the internet or whatever the fuck it is you hope to have. You might get your teeth knocked out. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah, might. Yeah. Sure. You might catch a fucking a hand. Yeah. Or two. Yep. Or four. In Depends the 90s, that's what it was. Yeah. You, you knew that. And you also knew <laughs> sticks and stones, man. Like somebody called you whatever yeah. the fuck you just, whatever. Yeah, you, I, you either you put your fucking yeah, you either hands square on up. Me. Yeah. If, exactly. if they're talking shit, you either square up or you just let it let it slide. Yeah. And I mean, we were, we all instigated that shit when we were kids. So oh, 90% sure. of it didn't get let slide. And, no. But it was a, it was a different thing. But motherfuckers we, were just straight. I egging. think you you would let them talk to you like that. But look, our parents. Here's yes, the I thing: am. like our parents taught us that they were like, "Oh, little so and so called you or whatever." Well, you know what? Sticks and stones may break. Oh bones, my god! Right? Tell me, growing up in the eighties, every 90s, time was, my mom or dad said that, I know, immediately wanted to headbutt them. I was like, "You son of a <laughs> right!" Stop saying stupid shit. But that's how we lived our life. Yeah. yeah. Somebody says something to me now, bro. People say some weird ass shit. Funny, but it's the type of shit that I'm like, yo, if you said that to the wrong motherfucker, they'd fucking smoke you. Or you'd be having a lawsuit. Yeah. There's like, there's like oh, so yeah. many different. Oh, God. Like, I know a cat right now. The talks, giant vaginas who go off and sue happy. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, no. And depending on the mayor. Or the judge, and I think that, like, that boils you know down. I mean? That boils back to a, uh, a another mega gigantic issue: is our justice system is just destroyed. Oh, it's fucked. Yeah, it's Be- so between fucked. between lawsuits and and the fact that defense attorneys are just like, all I have to do is prove that you may not have done it. Yep. Like, yep. It's it's no longer it's no longer a justice system of justice. It's mm-hmm. Who can lie better, bro? There's people on, there's people on YouTube and TikTok who make like livings suing people, suing jobs for discrimination for. Oh yeah, for all oh, yeah. kinds that, 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 of shit. That's why that whole <clears throat> there's people there's a, <clears throat> like our insurance in Florida. Do our insurance is it's getting stupid? Yeah, it's, it's it's so stupid. It's I don't even know how it's even, possible for exactly. anybody to actually carry yes. a pro- the proper amount of insurance you yeah. need to live in this in this state. And a lot of it is because of you have to go to some podunk people, fucking insurance company out of Illinois. Yeah, and yep. and and hope that they you got to get like government a, insurance. Yes, hope you, that they give you appropriate coverage yep. for the fact that 
your your home may flood during but a hurricane. Your people, house may fall during yeah. a hurricane. You may lose your car during a hurricane. Like, th- and they don't cover these things. Uh-uh. The flood insurance on in yeah, dude, they don't even they don't even tell you that shit's not included. I don't know. They're like, see if he catches it. They're Let's like, see if he catches it. They're like, this policy right here is hurricane coverage. And then when you open it, which you don't, because they tell you, yeah, if a hurricane blows your house down, you're good. You're good. We're, you're covered. When you open it, it's like covers hurricanes. but Up to a category one. <laughs> yeah. Up yeah. to a category one does not include water damage, wind damage, yep. yeah. <laughs> hail damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you call them and you're like, the water. Don't cover my, broken they're windows. Like, Sorry for your luck. Yeah. Right. We don't cover broken windows or um, uh, leaky roofs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, how is it hurricane coverage if it doesn't cover water or wind? That's the problem. But they will. That's the problem. See, you signed and, it. And this is you agreed to it. You fucking paid yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's but what, this is that's also what where this is also where I will say uh a certain um governor who uh may or may not be running his campaign into the ground. Is it Nevada? Should be focused on his state. You're like, fuck you. <laughs> should be focused on his state and he fixing ain't. the insurance crisis in this state. Rather than running around and trying to... I, I don't know if he's just wasting money for the sake of wasting money. Or if he actually thinks that he can win. I don't know. I can tell you right I mean, now. I I, I I will tell you this. I kind of felt the same way about Joe Biden in the presidency. But Ron DeSantis will not get a Florida vote. You don't think so? He will not win Florida. If he is, if he's the nominee, he will not win Florida because he promised the people of this state, yeah, one thing, and did it. It did the the, the complete opposite. I, I I love him as a governor. I think he he was really good during a major time of crisis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I now I just think he's a statist punk. Yeah, I, I, I think that's how it feels. Like I, I, I think that bro, he is, he I is was, establishment shill. I was a big Ron DeSantis stand he is for a towing. while because, like, I, I always try to give people credit where it's due, and the way that the way that we handle COVID in Florida, yeah, it was. Way better than what and, I saw going on in a lot of states, right? He's, but he's, then on, on top of that, like uh, us having our constitutional carry yeah. right now, like there's so many things that. But he's that also I can he's also towing this neocon. List. No, I know, and that was that's that's where I'm going. Is that, like yeah. establishment got, uh, line no, right. that, that like yeah, and and this is a guy well, because who, this is a founding member of the Freedom Caucus because there is no other way. There's no other way. Where right now is Matt there Gaines, is another Marjorie way. Taylor Green? Where's Lauren Boeber? Where's I mean Trump I, is fucking went to damn jail. It ain't got booked in. Biden's still the fucking president. Ain't been impeached fucking once. I know, but yet Trump's been impeached. I don't know, seventeen hundred times. <laughs> Hit him <laughs> twice, but yeah. Like, bro, where's Hillary Clinton? Donald Trump's mugshots online? Really? Like that's where we're at. We lost. Yeah. Like it's it's kind of a wrap. I look at these people and I'm like, yeah, no, it's. It's done. Yeah, like you have to toe the line. You have to be the shill. You and there, and it's not like the American be the people are getting shit now, on, and yet we, no one realizes no. that it's shit. Right. Right. Well, everybody keeps waking up to their alarm clock, going to work, going home, feeding their kids, and going yeah. to bed, and doing the same thing yeah. over until they die, and assuming that somebody else is going to take well, care of it. Yes, that's the problem. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you um. But you know, you're responsible for yourself. Yeah, you for sure. Are, uh, you are first. Should rely on yourself first. You should only rely on yourself. If somebody helps you, yeah, kudos, man. That's that's bonus. Yeah, definitely that's bonus shit. But you should always do things yourself. But to a degree, I guess we are all responsible for the outcome of this country too. You know, but what can you do with the like new technology? I like, dude, we've had conversations with guys, right? Who are vote uh, like not voters, but somebody who's going to vote, but swears like, oh, Donald Trump is a racist. Donald Trump is this. Donald Trump is that. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, like, of course. People, yeah, yeah. And you can't change their mind. No. If we know this one no, person, they only hear there's one side of millions yeah. more out there yeah. who are just completely oblivious 
until Kim Kardashian makes a post on Instagram that says, make sure you go and vote. I'm wearing my sticker. And then they don't go vote under the guise of responsibility to their country. They go vote so they can Instagram and TikTok a photo of, I voted today. Yep. Look at me. I'm responsible. Yep. Don't fucking know the first thing about goddamn politics. When somebody was like, oh, Donald Trump's a racist in the government, this in the government. And I'm like, okay, do you know who Nancy Pelosi is? No. Nope. <clears throat> you know who Mitch McConnell? No. Nope. So you don't know nobody? No. Nope. You know Donald Trump? Yep. Is he racist? Yep. Who told you that? Joy Behar? The View? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Whoopi. You know Whoopi. what I mean? Whoopi. Whoopi uh, told you? Really? And that's what you're going to fucking yeah. vote on? Here, here's a fun one. Here's a fun one. That and I'm, I'm read the sure. news, did you? No research. <laughs> here's a fun one that I'm pretty sure you didn't hear. We lost. Uh, oh, we, we're we getting there. I don't think we've lost. This is I don't. Good. It is. I don't think enough people have woke up yet. And I say woke up, but... Uh, Awaken. Uh, there you go. I, I don't think enough Just people go with had, it. had their eyes opened to, to, to weak. the... Weak. Yeah. Woke up. People. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, go ahead. Say it. They have awakened. They have awakened. Are you trying to make this very like... <laughs> like no. Brooding? I'm just no? trying not to oh, stay okay. woke. Oh, <laughs> woke. Uh, <laughs> it's it, So the, the, the grand jury that um, they have in Georgia... Uh, try, I say tried. They all voted to indict uh, Lindsey Graham and two other sitting senators Okay, in this whole thing that, that Trump's going through down there. And you know, though, hold on the, 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 the DA, the DA was like, no, nah, we're not doing that. And, and that says a lot uh, to, to, to the, the political landscape of, 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 of what's going on with the Trump indictments. And like, if you're, if, if you have a, a grand jury that's willing to mm -hmm. say, indict these three senators. Yeah. And, but and, go. And the DA goes, we're not going to do that. Yeah. We know that this is a hundred percent political. Yeah. Like, this is interference. So, this is interference to its highest degree. At what point, though? Like, at what point to what? Do they fight back? Do anything besides post on Instagram or post on Twitter? The people can't allow this. Trump was arrested. The people can't allow this. Well, we voted for you, bro. We can't do nothing. Go get if, it. If I go up there and I'm like, hey, I'm here to bust Trump out of jail. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be right there fucking with him. I'm being the gulag with the Janu January 6th guys. And what are you going to do? Yeah. Fucking post on Twitter about me? Oh, you should be let free. You should but be then I spend another two years in there without charge. Jimmy, free Jimmy. Look, look at what, look at what Man, these, these guys. Fuck that, bro. Look, when the Democrats hold power, motherfucking laws get passed. Presidents get arrested. Yeah. Political opponents destroyed. But you when know they, why? When the Republicans are in power, they're like, oh, we kind of like things the way they are. So we're just, we're going to do some gas deals. We're going to make your gas a little cheaper. And then we're just going to sit back and ride out four years. Take your money. Unfortunately. And that's what I see even with the fucking Freedom Caucus at this point. Like you have done nothing. Yeah. To earn I, I, I'm, my I'm trust, my votes. If we are at a point where we can imprison our political opponents, why is o uh, Obama, why is <laughs> O'Biden not being impeached? Because you can't impeach a person who's not actually the president. That's uh, I'm being I'm being ridiculous right now. So I was gonna say like Obama, let, got, let's be real. Obama's pulling the strings, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Him and Michael. Yeah. Oh, well, Michael Obama. Oh, Obama Biden. Oh Biden. Whatever. I'm dude. It pisses Barack me off. And Michael. It pisses me off to the point where like <laughs> I have no faith. I don't. I feel like neither side is is gonna. It's pointless for me. 
It's so where do you pointless. think where where do you think we go in ten years? Where where do you think we're at in ten years? Uh, learn to speak Chinese or or Russian. You believe that? To a degree, maybe not ten years, but I look at okay. Do you think that most of these big powerful countries are corrupt? Like like, do you think China, Mexico, uh, let's say Russia? I think all of the all of these governments that you're talking about are Holy in it together and absolutely unequivocally corrupt, including ours. Right. Ours, ours is a showcase for it. Right. Like so we are we are the pinnacle my, of corruption. This is my point: is that we are also corrupt, but we tend to hide it better. I don't even think we hide it better. I think we show it blatantly, and now they're like, I "What are you going to do, do about it?" I think we do now. What are you I think do? since COVID, since Trump. Since yeah. Trump, not yeah. COVID. Since Trump. Okay. Before Trump. And they're all sitting there going, what are you going to do yeah, about it? Yeah, everybody was like, no, we're We're not America. corrupt. Yeah. We're, we're the greatest country in the we're world. We're the beacon mm-hmm. of yeah. trust. Yeah. And then when Trump got elected, they were like, we'll fucking just throw him in jail. And people were like, but he didn't do nothing. And they're like, yeah, but what are you going to do about it? Exactly. And that's when I think the mask off moment happened uh-huh. was Trump and COVID. But my point is, is that we're really young. You don't country. think it was, you don't think it was during COVID when, when, well, when Nancy Pelosi went and got her hair done, but told you to stay inside when, well, uh, that's what I mean is, is it was when, it, when the world economic forum took a, took a, a, a group photo, everybody put their masks on. And as soon as the group photo was over, they right. took their masks off. Well, those, like, come on. those were the moments Rules that for the, we not saw. for me. Those were the moments that we saw blatantly. I'm rich. You're not. Do what we fucking tell you. For sure. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that all started and it happened because of Trump. Like it was, it was kind of like, okay. Why do you, why do you think it, if why we do you don't think because insert of Trump? Because I felt what did like Trump do? Represented the non-establishment that do they never thought when they ran Hillary that fucking Donald Trump. Would win. Would win. Sure. And then he did, and they go, okay. We fucking under, underestimated this if, one. If we don't right now insert our, we're the fucking government, go fuck yourself. We're going to throw this motherfucker in jail. And also, we need you to wear the mask, but we ain't doing shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Yeah. That's what we saw over the years. That's that moment where I think that they were like, we have to in instill yeah. the fear of our power as the government yeah. in that we will not have you voting outside of the est- like bro like right now say you win the lottery mm-hmm. you got mad fucking money and you're like fuck it I'm spend all this money in campaign you get all these fucking voters to be like fuck yeah I'm voting for Rob yeah. fuck yeah. yeah they wouldn't vote for me no, they're shit, dude. I'd, I'd burn the entire place down. Are you kidding I'd me? I'd fucking vote for you. You know why? <laughs> because apparently, it's, apparently you like arsonists. It's, it's <laughs> the same fucking reason why people voted for Trump because they're just sick of the looking at shit. somebody like they're Ron sick DeSantis of looking at the re- yeah, yeah. and going, oh, that's the guy. And then two years go by and you're like, wait, what? Well, why aren't you the guy anymore? What the fuck, What are dude? you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, I agree with you. And I think that's why people voted for Trump and our government kind of had to come together and be like, bro, if we don't China these people right now, we're going to go Trump, Trump Jr., and then we're all out of the fucking job. Okay, so let me ask you You know what I mean? And I think we saw that mask off moment during his presidency. But my point to all that was kind of to say that with with us being a really young country, Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're only two hundred and forty-five years old compared to yeah. like Mexico, China, and Mexico, China, yeah, 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 yeah. fucking Russia, and sure. all these places. Right. Well, I, I mean, think their corruption and their people, like technically, we, Russia's government is only like like Russia as yeah. a as a country is right. only probably about what 40, 50 years old. Yeah, the, the USSR was was well disassembled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like, that was so in the fifties, right? That was in the eighties. Yeah, you're right. What the fuck was I thinking? It was like no. late 80s, bro. Like Reagan Reagan was uh, Gorbachev. Was take it? that wall yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Like that was the whole thing. Okay. 
uh, the, the the dissolution of the USSR, it became Russia. Uh, they, they broke up. Uh, Ukraine became a, a separate, like... What does USSR stand for? It was the United... Soviet... Soviet... States... Of Russia, right? Or Republic uh, of... United Soviet States. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. There it is. Yeah, that so that, that crazy shit. Okay, that that even sounds fucking crazy. But see what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And when was that? It was dissolved in like the late '80s, dude. When they broke down the Berlin Wall, 1922. Huh? It's that's when it started. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 91 is when they. Yeah. When it, yeah, when they took down the Berlin Wall. Yeah, yeah. So. 80 fucking years. But so so my point is though in the 20s that was USSR. What was before the USSR though? It was it was uh hmm. uh it, it it was like because there had to have been It was a king and queen type. It was a monarchy, dude. dude federal one party socialist republic and then in 24 to 27 it was totalitarian dictatorship. This this is my thing though is that we're a young country. Yeah. Founded on fuck all that bullshit. We're yeah. going to be free. Yep. And then some people got some power and was like, look, man. How free I can mean, they really be? How free can we let them yeah. be? And then. Before it becomes a problem for us. Uh, we, nah. sh- we should be looking at Russia. We should be looking at Mexico and try to do what they do because, you know, they're they're pretty well off. That's what our government is looking at. They're like. Well, yeah, Mexico, China. no, but China, yes. Yeah, China. All definitely places. looking at China going, yeah, we like what they're doing. And you, and you know why that is? I think we're headed they're, towards they China, look at China, Russia. Like all of these all, all of these uh, politicians, they go over to China, they see, mm-hmm. uh, they're, they're, like China's like, look, we just built this road. Yeah. How did you do it? We just fucking did it. Yeah. What about all the red tape and the bureaucracy and the, the what, what about the preservation of land and, right. and stuff like that? And they're like, right. What? I know. No, just, is, isn't it the damnedest thing we that told our them government? To build it. Yeah. Isn't it the damnedest thing that we live in a country where our government is like, oh, you want to you wanna make a product? Does that product meet these standards? All of these, yeah. And you say, well, yeah, it meets the, okay, well, now comes the EPA. Mm-hmm. Does the paint on these products meet these standards? Yeah. And you go, well, shit, no. Well, know. then fuck you. Yeah, you can't shut do it. down. Yeah. Can't do it. And then then you go over comes, to China. Yeah, and and that same shit. You go over to China, and they're like, and they're like what kind of regulations you got? They're like, none. none. What are you talking about? What regulations? Yeah, we just build shit, bro. Yeah, we just build shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you wonder why you look up, and they're like, China has the fastest growing economy. The more we oh, talk about whoa, this, whoa, the more the China sounds pretty fucking awesome. It actually, Outside, yeah. but that's the problem, though. It's not. It's not freedom. No, it's not. because it's not. It's not somebody. It's not somebody like like. Going in and going, I, I really like to build a road. And then I build a road by paying for it, right? Right. It's it's no. it's 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 a government going, build we need road. to build, we need to build a road. Uh you four. You are all now slaves <laughs> and yeah. you will build this road for us by tomorrow. Yeah, you four start building. But but our government, our, our, our politicians love that shit. They're like, how do you get this done so fast? We just do it. For sure. They're like, well, how, Bro, do, look how do we get to Canada, do that? Justin Trudeau? They're like, how He's do like, we get to do that? They're oh, like, man. you just stop. Stop giving everybody freedom. Freedom? Like you just tell it's, them what to do. It's a bad thing for People, a country. Like they they all really wholeheartedly, like they really believe that people love to be governed. Bro, the moment Justin and I gotta Trudeau tell you, dude, in Canada was like, well, you mean Fidel I, Castro's son? Yes. Mm. I've yep. I've really gotta I've say too many that photos of that shit. Me too. I got to say that I admire Xi Jinping and the way that they're able to basically just shut down their country because of COVID and do this and do all that. And it's like, dude, when when you're the president or whatever the fucking, is it a president of Canada or is it like the grand, I don't know what the fuck he is. The grand poobah or some the, shit. The, I don't fucking Fidel know. Fidel Castro's son, but go ahead. Yeah, he's like the grand dictator of Canada. Yeah. When he's like, when you are that person... And you say you look up to Xi Jinping, like, make no mistake that if you're in that position too, you're not the guy who's like, just went to the corner store, just picked up something from China at Walmart and don't fucking pay attention. When you're the president of a country, you know the good 
and you know the bad of Xi Jinping. Of course. We know the fucking Uyghur and the fucking uh, facial tracking and all the craziness that goes on in China. Yeah. Why the fuck would Joe Biden? Persecution of the, the Uyghur Muslims. Yeah. yeah. And, so when, yeah, when, no, when, I know. when you're... The fact that TikTok here versus their... What is it? Bite dance or whatever. Yes. That that, that is what theirs. They push uh, the, 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 the algorithms algorithm? are completely opposite. Hundred percent. Totally opposite. So when you're the guy who's like, I look up to that guy, and I think he's, you know, he's he's. We should model ourselves. That's that's why he should not be the guy, man. The grand poobah. You but they gotta, keep. No, I think it's. It, what is he a part? Is he the president? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I think it's the president. Parliament they're like Harry fucking America, douche canoe. America Junior. They, they're definitely not America Junior anymore. China Junior. Yeah. So uh, next next sip I'm going to have is some good old-fashioned Buffalo Trace. You know why? What's that? Because I like Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is fucking it's a good. a solid, solid uh, bottle of bourbon for just an average. I mean, like your everyday sippable bourbon. This is your one. Yeah. Every guy who drinks bourbon should 100% have this bottle on their shelf at all times. Like this is, this is what you introduce someone to bourbon with, you know? Right. Right. Have you ever heard of tr- So he's the president. Yeah. It's that's what it's called. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Trudeauism? It sounds familiar. There's some weird shit that goes on with that. Justin Trudeau is a member of a family who mm-hmm. the Trudeaus. Yes. Been around a long fucking time. A long fucking time. Trudeauism refers to the liberal political ideology associated with former Liberal Party of Canada leader, Prime Minister of Canada, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. That's what he is. He's the Prime Minister. He's not the President. Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. Social, liberal, economic, nationalist, and Canadian nationalist policy. Whoa, easy with that nationalist stuff. That's some racist-ass shit. Hey, man. Not allowed to be a nationalist. If the fucking... I think more Americans should be much more nationalist. For sure. For sure. Like, for but God's sake, when, when did it become... They, they villainized the word. When did it become a bad thing to be a fucking American? Mm-hmm. Like, whatever happened to the America? When the, smart, yeah. when the smart people convinced you that it wasn't. Didn't and convince me. No, us. I mean, dude, we grew up in a different era. Uh, like, I, I love the quote that America is the greatest country in the world. No, I don't believe that. I believe that the the idea of America is the greatest idea yes, ever conceived. For sure. The, 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 call it, call it an experiment if, the if you want. The idea that the people will. The idea of what and, America should be. Yes. On a daily basis. Yeah. Is the greatest idea ever conceived. That's not what we are living through. Though. Exactly. That's, exactly. That's why we have to have this. Again, we've had this. We've had this conversation yeah. where, where, yeah. uh, as far as as far as laws, yeah, we're deleting one, two, ten a day. Mm-hmm. We're getting rid of laws, yeah, because laws just restrict. They never go away either. Yeah. Like it's, motherfuckers will yeah. convince you, like, yeah. hey, vote for this, vote for this, yep. vote for this, yep. and then in thirty once years, all, once all the un the unnecessary laws are gotten rid of. Yeah. We then write one new law. It's like the laws right? that's like. And it's that any new law that is ever passed through Congress and Senate and not vetoed by the, by the president will have a sunset. seven, a 10 year sunset clause. Yeah. Fucking seven, 10 yeah. fucking whatever you call it, dude. Yep. Just it will have a sunset clause in it that this motherfucker ends here yeah. and now and cannot be rebuilt. It's like, uh, Laws where they're like women can't wear shit that shows their ankles five inches above the ankle line. That shit's still on the books. Yeah. Not that they enforce it, but the point is, is could they? Because it's there. It's, well, it's there. It's like like here in, in the state of Florida. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still illegal to commit adultery. Right. Do right. Do they enforce that? 
No. Could do they? You see, do you see bitches who cheat getting getting thrown in jail over some over some extra extracurricular dick? No. 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 Because we don't enforce things like that, right? But what if you did it with the judge's wife? You think they would have... Oh, I'm going to jail. Exactly. I'm going to jail. You're going under the jail. Mm-hmm. We got a special fucking door for you. It goes down. Yep. Not in. Mm. So, New Mexico tried to ban <laughs> guns. <laughs> I know this is way off to, like, well, it's not really way off topic. This is fucking America. So, mm, I got a good one for you. New Mexico tries to ban their guns. Yeah. What has, when did this happen? Uh, this just happened a couple of days ago. Is anybody like they have in a rally? The governor? Or? No. So they announced it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Yesterday on a Friday. They announced it on a Friday. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do this shit all the yeah. time, right? Or like Friday at 4 30. We're, uh, we're gonna, low, in, we're like gonna low volume news. Yeah. Like it doesn't hit the headlines. It's, it's a blip on yeah. the radar, right? Like just a bloop and it's yeah. gone, right? Yeah. But you have an entire weekend to go, go get them, boys. Yeah. Go fucking get them. Right. Right. Unconstitutionally, one. Yeah. Two, the backlash from that, like, here's the thing. Monday morning, I can guarantee you, Monday morning, there are 17, if not 100 fucking lawsuits that will stop this thing cold turkey in its tracks because it's 100% unconstitutional. Right. But she knew she could fucking bang this out on a Friday afternoon and fucking go to town on collecting people's shit over the the weekend. It's the only thing she's banging out with a haircut like that. Oh, I hope she's not married because I feel bad for that guy. Oh my god! I feel bad for him, dude. If if, if she is married, you know he gets told what to do in bed. Yeah, Yeah. like he's like he getting pegged. Yeah, my dude is not the boss. No, no, he's a bottom. You ready? Yeah. I think this is going to be our next episode. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to do dumb laws because I think it's a good conversation for sure. Like. The idiocracy, the idiocracy, is that, that, is that the word? Idiocracy? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Idiocracy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mike Judge made it a word, so fuck it. It's a word. No, yeah, it's a, it's a movie. It's a fucking word. Yeah? Yeah. God, I love that movie. Yeah, it was just. It's, so, it's such a prophetic movie. Just had it playing. Oh, such dude. a prophetic movie. That's real life. Yeah, you look at that it today and you go, yep, real you life. fucking, that's it right there. Yep. 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 Hey, you just sit back and you go, how much more, how, how much, how much worse can it get? And, and here's the problem. It's not, it's, it's not the way Mike Judge touted it, uh, it where, right. where you have Cletus yeah. interbreeding with Cletuses and more <laughs> Cletuses are made, right? Yeah. Like it's not the stupid rednecks. Right. It's the stupid liberals yes. that are fucking up everything for everybody. And he know what's funny. And and the, the the right, the right look like the the inter- like the 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 middle and the right are going. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Yeah. I don't want to do this right game that, that, that we're doing. Yep. Like, why do I have to, why do I have to look at you and go, they, them? Why do I have to look at you yeah. and go, you're a, you're a chick. It's, why do I have to look at you and go, I know you have a penis, but you could totally have a baby if you wanted to. Right. Like, fuck out, dude. Well, it's conformity. It's all so absolutely. It, well, and the thing is, is because at that point, insane. then at that point, you have no freedom. If I can tell you, if I, no fucking body. I'm just a motherfucker. I don't have no power. I'm not a cop, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge, I'm not a politician. If I could just tell you, hey, you have to call me X, Y, Z. You have to treat me. You have to speak at a certain level because of my fucking trigger points or whatever the fuck. Then we start to strip each other yeah. of our freedom to say, no, fuck you. I can do what I want. And if you don't fucking like it, there's the door, yeah. right? So we strip each other of our freedoms and we make it a normal thing. We normalize being like, oh, I'm not supposed to do that because it makes you uncomfortable or I'm not supposed like, dude, we're all. I don't give a fuck if you're yeah, uncomfortable or like, not. We're dude, that's all not, about. That's, this is the thing. Like, it's you, not a problem for me. I have. Your a, uncomfortability. Your uncomfortable ability. <laughs> Un words are hard. Your the I'm, fact that you're uncomfortable yeah. does not does not 
affect my fucking day. I don't care. Right. If you're uncomfortable, but we don't find go, a place where you're comfortable because it's is, not is, here, buddy. Like us, I, I think we didn't, I don't, we don't go out of our way to make people uncomfortable. I actually am a very likable, welcoming dude. I am like, not. See, I am. Like I've always I'm, I'm amazed that, that you way. and I even have conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, I come off, dude, I can't tell you how many times I get called an asshole or why are you, why are you always this way? Why, are, why do you act like this towards people? And I'm like, because I cannot stand. Hey, hold on, hold on. I can't stand morons. Is it your wife? No. She don't call you an asshole? She don't oh, say, my wife, she straight don't, up. She don't ask you that? My wife why calls are you me worse than that. Yeah. My wife too. But my you know what's funny though? Than that. But yeah. that's the thing. It's not her. She understands. That's the best part about my wife is that she wholly understands who yeah, the fuck yeah. I am and why I am the way I am, right? My wife kind of does too now, more so it's, it's, than it's, she it's used it's to. people outside. But she's like, you're, you're kind of an asshole. And yeah. I'm like, no, the fuck I'm not. What do you mean? But you are. But am I though? You are. And I think that's where you and I get along because we're both. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not calling I hide, myself, I'm I hide not calling myself an asshole because it's this great thing to fucking be. No, but you I have to be I, that I get way. called an asshole by other people. Yeah. Where, where like on a day-to-day basis, I deal with some of the stupidest fucking people Dude. that you could possibly I see. I know. I know. And then they speak. Yeah. Right. And then it makes it worse. I'm with like, you, man. If you just didn't speak. I might be able to get through this interaction with you. And this is in public. This is everywhere, dude. I I don't understand yeah. why, why ignorance has to be pronounced. But now imagine if... Because if, I sit back and don't get me wrong. I could do some stupid ass shit. Yeah. I will say some stupid ass shit. Yeah. I am fucking bar none, not the only guy. Like, I am not the smartest guy in the room. I am not the fucking, the, the, I will say some stupid shit is what I'm trying to get at. But the fuck. We have a fucking YouTube catalog of 31, 32 episodes. 31, 30. This will be 32. Yeah, we don't remember anymore. I think this will be 32. This is episode episode 32, folks. We actually have an internet catalog of both of us saying a whole lot of stupid shit. A whole lot of stupid shit. But I accept that I have said some stupid shit. The, yeah, the, for sure. the, the, I think the thing that really aggravates me the most is when people say stupid shit and they're just like, yeah, uh-huh. Right. Yep. Right. Like, you don't even realize that you said that stupid shit yeah. and that it was stupid. But I feel like, like you people, just look at me and you go, yeah. I feel like people like that always consistently. I expect stupid shit. And, and so it's like, it's... It baffles me that it's allowed. Yeah, and it aggravates... Maybe because it maybe because I me and then maybe I act maybe like an because asshole. I was hit in the head hit hit in okay. the back of the head so okay. many times for saying stupid shit. All right, so this is what I mean though. This is what I mean. Okay, okay. <laughs> you, I I feel you, bro. I really, really, truly do. But what I mean is, you don't go out of your way. Like let's Gus, say Gus. Let, let's say tomorrow, I was like, hey, bro, come over. We're gonna drink some bourbon. Gus has our timer. I just want you to know that. Yeah, he does, right? Yeah. He knows. He's he like, knows. he's like, it's fucking bullshit your past time. Yeah. Yeah. We I got gotta, it. I gotta go out and piss. We'll finish on this note. So if if I told you to come over tomorrow and drink some bourbon, mm-hmm. and you were like, Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, bring the family. We're gonna drink some bourbon and cook out. Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna have some friends over as well. And those friends was a lesbian chick and a gay guy. Okay. You wouldn't go out of your way. To be an asshole to them or like... Nah, bitch, I'm coming over in a rainbow ass fucking suit. Yeah, you're just no, going to be like, no, you're... No, I don't care. Right. I don't care. That's what I mean. I don't care. Like, you're you're just going to be like, hey, what's up? And but I am going to open my mouth the minute the minute one of them is like, right. I'm they, them. Yeah, They're the no, fuck no, no, you're no, not. No, 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 But this is what I yeah, mean, yeah. though. With the way we grew up, people didn't do that. Mm-hmm. They didn't do that shit. Yeah, you were just gay. You were just like, hey... Dude, no lie. Hey, this is my homie, Gay Sam. Yeah, we about to smoke some weed together. This, this, this that my, was it. This like, my buddy. And, and that's no this is my lie. My buddy Sam, he sucks a bunch of dick. Yeah, we and smoke. you're like, all right, like, cool. His fucking name. Yeah, like we all have nicknames. His nickname was yeah. fucking Gay Sam. This, this is this, this that's is what home, he did. This is my homegirl Nikki. Nobody she, fucking she cares. scissors yeah. all the time. Right. So yeah, we don't. 
Like and nobody fucking cares. Nobody fucking cared. But that's the thing is now it's got to be like you have yeah, to care. You have to care. And, and I don't like being told that, to care about things. Not only that, you have to abide by our vocabulary, our language, our trigger points, this. And I don't mean just gay or le- I mean people who are like, oh, I'm triggered by the color of your fucking Hawaiian pineapple shirt. It makes me anxious. Me my pineapple's out of this. It makes me anxious and you should take it off. That's like, they expect you to be like, I feel oh, attacked. oh, okay. I'm going to take it off. Like, that's I what very I mean. threatened right now. Wait, but when you grow up... <laughs> When you grow up with that being normal, that you should just do what yeah. makes other people comfortable, mm-hmm. bro, we're headed in a really fucking bad place. Yeah. Because then when the government's like, we feel like you should do X, Y, Z, your mm-hmm. fucking first nature is going to go, yeah, I mean, it's probably best. Yeah, legit. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You know. On that note, you know, pineapples are my safe word. Yep. And the dog has to piss. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.